In this video tutorial, we're going to go over, over how to use Soundbowl, how you can get started, and uh, all the features that are available to you. So after you create an account on the website and you download the version for your operating system, which is either Windows or Mac, and you uh, boot it up, you will be presented with this screen where you can log into your account. Once you logged in, you will be presented with this screen. We have a few menu options over here on the left side, a little section with some account information. Uh, when you first create an account and you do not have an active membership, you will be provided with a thousand trial plays so that you can test the software for yourself and see if it works. If you do have a membership, it'll say active. So let's jump right into it and we're going to use the search feature to search for our tracks. Uh, once we find the track that we want to boost, there's going to be presented with a create task uh, screen where there's a few settings that we can change to our liking. So let's say we want to add 1000 plays to this track. Uh, here you, you just enter the plays over there. Here you can choose the proxy list that you've imported or you can use the sample provided proxies which are, have been tested. And then the next option is the threads option. And the way the threads work is uh, all the proxies will be split in between the threads evenly and then the threads will run when you start to task 300 threads will start up. Once that thread has run through its proxies it'll go to sleep for 15 minutes this is in minutes by the way and i recommend to leave the thread sleep where it is because that's been tested and it works very well so obviously if you set the threads higher the plays will increase faster but make sure that you always leave the threads lower than the amount of plays so 300 seems to be a good spot for me but it, it might depend on how fast your internet connection is what you could set it to and how well it will perform but for this demonstration we're going to set it to 400 and let's just create this basic task and there you can see it started up. So let's go over some of the other features. First we'll start with the schedule feature. We're going to set the same task but this time we're going to schedule it to start in 30 seconds. So once you create that and you go over to scheduled you can see that it's being scheduled to run in a few seconds. So we can leave that now as well. That'll start up in a few seconds. Uh, let's start up and demonstrate the repeat function as well. So once you check repeat, um, you can repeat tasks every few hours, minutes, seconds, or whatever you want. And uh, here you can choose the amount of times you would like the task to repeat. If you leave this blank, it'll repeat indefinitely, like it will never stop repeating until you tell it to. So for demonstration purposes, we're going to set this to one just to repeat it once after it's already ran. And we're going to repeat it after 10 seconds. So once we start that, You'll see another task is here. You can also see our scheduled task has appeared and it's running as well. And our repeating task has also been set and that's running now as well. Okay, so let's move over to the settings tab. Here you can set some defaults for your application of how the settings that you use frequently or how you want it to start up when you create a task just for convenience sake. And you can choose your proxies, etc. And uh, also down below, Soundbowl proxies will load automatically when you start the program. And uh, you can also import your own proxy list using this button. And once you import it, all these things will be saved when you close and reopen Soundbowl. So once, let's go back to our tasks. Here you can see the repeating task is already repeated once. And it's uh, starting up again. And you can see our first task has finished. Um, we can actually check that. Uh, it's plasmatic feedback. We added a thousand plays, so it's this one. So let's just refresh. Refresh. Plasmatic feedback. You can see that it increased by a thousand. Uh, this one's almost done. You can see our repeating task is done as well. So we can just delete those if we want and leave that one to finish. And there you go. That's basically the the gist of how Soundboat works and how you can get started. If you do have any questions, feel free to contact me. I do reply fairly fast to all my emails. So yeah, enjoy guys. And uh, thank you if you purchased it. Thank you for supporting us and enjoy.